In today's video, we're checking out the Bloody Skies Lucky Draw with, of course, the legendary SKF De Death Lance and the, uh, also, of course, the uh, tep Epic Templar skin as well. If you do go and enjoy the video, make sure to, of course, like and subscribe. And surprisingly, I enjoyed this one. So, so, of course, if you, uh, so yeah, if, of course, if you want my uh, SKS skin, then, or SKS Lara even, then we'll make sure to stay tuned to the end for that. And let's get into the video. Today's so, shout out goes to, I think it's called, so, I think it's pronounced Bernio Kodeb. They have 418 subscribers, so kind of on the slightly higher end of a uh, pretty nice shout out. Uh, yeah, they are definitely, um, they do more play, more play, play more multiplayer um, content. Uh, so, yeah, if you do go over and join the videos, then make sure to, of course, like the videos you enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy the channel in general. Of course, they'll be linked down below in the description and up on the screen here. And uh, yeah, of course, make sure to go over and um, leave any supportive comments you have. And if, if there's something you can improve, then of course, let them know in the comments and, and as by leaving a supportive but constructive criticism comment in the, in the, in the, in the course there. Uh, yeah, if you, uh, yeah, the course, uh, if you do over, be supportive, be positive, and let's get into the lucky draw. Okay, so here we are in the lucky draw. As you see, there is no trailer. And I've already done one draw, so I'll probably put the, the one draw after this, or maybe before this, actually. I probably already put it. But as you see, I got the ICR, which is actually the worst pull. Um, yeah, let's, let's actually sort of do the ICR first. It's not the right weapon, the gun skin, honestly. I've got better ICR skins, especially the color burst one. Um, yeah, not not the best, honestly. And it's definitely one that, um, yeah, definitely need more, a bit more of the damage red, and it made black instead of grey. But other than that, it's just 5 out of 10, very right, mediocre. Now, but this knife skin is really nice. It's got more of the animated red and it's a bit darker grey, so it, it, fit, it fits a bit better. It's actually a really nice one. It's going to get a 7 or somewhat 5 out of 10. Here's the corn card if you care about that. Not that one. And then we have the motorbike skin. Oh, it's nice. Maybe a bit more animated red. It's going to get a 6.5. Yeah, but definitely a bit more of the animated red. But the black, the darker black, the darker, more black colours instead of the grey is really, really nice. Here's the emote. Yeah, chuck the mask up and he throws a knife into it. It's an alright one, it's a 7 out of 10. Mediocre. No, 6.5. It's alright. There's the charm. It's a, no, it's alright charm, of course. It's kind of like a, almost like a, a storm. It's kind of like a stormtroop mask, almost, in my opinion. But yeah, definitely an interesting one. Here is the parachute. Now, as you see, it has a lot of the, uh, a lot of the uh, animated red, so it's actually a really nice parachute. Maybe a bit more black and a bit more. Um, less plain colour and more texture to it maybe. Uh, 6 out of 10. And finally the cluster name. Um, it's actually alright, it's got some more, bit more pattern to it, it's actually decent. It's going to get a, a 7 out of 10. So overall it's about, oh no I haven't, I haven't reviewed this. Here's the Templar skin, it's actually a nice skin. Uh, red and black is also obviously one of my favourite favorite combinations. So yeah, I would uh, highly recommend picking this up. Um, so that's going to get a, a 7.5 out of 10. And here is the SKS. Oh, it's decent. Red and black holes is one of my favourite colour combinations, and this does pulls off quite well. Um, maybe a bit bland in terms of the design, but other than that, it's quite nice. It's going to get an 8 out of 10. Of course, it's on the SKS. Here's the iron sight. It almost reminds me of, I feel like it's, it reminds me of a UL um, iron sight almost. And here's the inspect animation. You see a lot left of the red there, but yeah. There's a little more less vibrant there. And as you can see there, the hit, the uh, the the kill effect, of course, is like like kind of like um, I feel like it's like kind of like the mythic airs valve, one of the stages of the mythic yeah, mythic, mythic airs valve uh, kill effect almost. So yeah, overall it's about a seven out of ten lucky draw. Um, could be better, but could be worse still. Yeah, now let's get into the um, the the what's it called play mode, and we'll show you off the SKS. Okay, so here we are in the train line. As you are the SKS equipped. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, this actually surprised me. I didn't think I was going to enjoy using this one. I didn't think I was actually going to do a ranked gameplay. Um, I decided, but I actually decided to take it into ranked just to have one test game, see how um how I got, how I got with it. Just because uh, if I did what I was using in ranked, of course I was going to. And it actually surprised me the fact that I actually enjoyed using this one. Because not normally, if I lose, I get um, it's, you know it's you get a ten point and you're losing, you're losing badly, and you're not playing very well. 
and never to be nominating you. But I didn't get, never got that. Um, I never got that feeling with this gun. I just got the thing. All the losers, losses I got with this gun were actually pretty, pretty close. And uh, yeah, so I've got some decent gameplay with this one. Um, yeah, definitely surprised because I just, as you guys know, I'm more of an SMG player, so I, uh, I definitely play a lot more aggressively than, than, than most players. So I didn't think I was going to like the uh, quality of slow firing. Um, the slow firing, of course, you have to be like with this, so, uh, this guess. Um, of course, you have to like with this one, and I didn't think my accuracy was going to be up to scratch to use it, but um, there are some bits, I was especially up close where the accuracy wasn't, wasn't quite there, but um, most of the time, it wasn't actually too bad, and I actually quite enjoyed using it. Of course, this is a, uh, the best long range weapon, apart from the sniper, if you're accurate with a sniper, but this one's definitely the easiest, easiest, easiest to use long range weapon. And you can be slightly more aggressive this than the sniper, so it's a bit more versatile, I would say. Yeah, Wally would consider the one of if not the best gun in the game. It's actually one of the best ones in the game, but definitely top 5 still. It's been top 5 for ages, to be fair. But yeah, I, I, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure what the base eyesight for the SKS looks like. I'm, uh, yeah, but um, it's definitely an interesting one. Definitely didn't. Um, um, it was. Um, yeah, um, of course I'm using a skin that gives a better insight. Um, I have. Uh, uh, there's also the meteoric one that gives a better insight, but I decided to choose this one. I might have switched halfway through to be fair. So I might have used the meteoric on one of my first gameplays. I actually do prefer this one because Meteoric has like no iron sight and, and if it's too clear then it's, it could kind of be hard to use whereas this one has it's still clear but it's like it's easy to see so it's easier to aim with it. So yeah definitely a very high powerful and I um of course it is a skill this this can involve like you have to uh, at least decent accuracy um uh, with, with this gun so yeah definitely Definitely more of a high skill weapon, I would say. I do recommend using it if you're a passive player that likes to hold angles and uh, head glitches and is uh, not so aggressive. Um, I think I might be a bit more. Actually, no, to be fair, I tried to play a bit less aggressive in this one. And I definitely think I managed to pull it off. So yeah, let's check out our calls to hit fast back see. Horrific. Um, horrific as it's of course a marching rifle. Here is the recoil. Of course Ryan Man's all recoil rate not one is really cool because of course it is a semi-automatic semi-automatic so it's easy to use and it's the recoil side of things. Hence why it's really good long ranges of course the damage is really good. I think it's a two shot anywhere. Uh, so yeah, we have a 48. Well, basically, at this range, it's, it's guaranteed too short as long as, you as long as you don't hit the legs. Or as long as you want headshot, it's a guaranteed two shot. No, wait, hang on. No, it's a guaranteed two shot anyway, actually. Unless you get two, unless you get two leg shots. In which case, it isn't quite a, uh, a, two sh a three shot. Other than that, it's um, it's a guaranteed three shot. I'm not sure I'm not sure it drops off at all. Um, let's let's go back to forty meters. No, it doesn't drop off at all. So it's basically consistent. Actually, to be honest, and there's a one shot to the head, of course. Which, which is why, it might, if it does the right fit accurate, it can be really overpowered because if it one shot, because when you one shot the head. Um, it's really, really it, of course, the time to really, really quick. Um, I've actually had a couple of times where I've been hit firing and I've managed to uh, get, achieve that one shot time to kill really fast. Uh, just because, because, of course, the, the hit fast were actually really bad and I've, I've been aiming for the body, so it's to hit the head instead. And, and especially at close range, when you, it's like a kind of more of a relief when you hit that one shot, when you hit that, that one shot, so yeah. But overall, of course, one of the most powerful guns in the game. I would recommend picking it up and trying it if you want a slightly more consistent, a very consistent um, 
for slightly a more high school that button to use. If you're looking to improve your phone school, then this might be one to try out. And of course, and maybe try something like the uh, the Man of War or, or something with slightly, fire, slightly, fire, slightly faster but slower than the average fire rate uh, first. So if you if you if Mars is on the Man of War, then, uh, then, then this is a good transition into being able to use uh, slightly higher skill weapons. And then, yeah, we are highly recommend checking it out. And now let's get into, of course, the uh, the game, the ranked gameplays. Okay, so it's about SKS loadout. As you can see, it's mobility range build, and of course, uh, it's not all built off mobility, but most of it is. Uh, so, yeah, we have the monolithic expressor for the plus science ability and damn plus damage at range, with the MIP light barrel for the minus 10% ADS time and plus 5% movement speed. We have the no stop for the minus 15% ADS time, plus 3% movement speed, and plus 20% 20 ADS bullet spread. I think I didn't speed sorry. But the tail perk was of course with the uh, with the Martin rifles, it's a it's a one shot AOS anyway on the body. Um so yeah, it's not a one shot, it's a um, it slows the body that slows them down. So it's easy to hit those other shots if you do of course it, you, as it is a two shot it may, it's easy to hit those one those other shots. It's just uh, that's when you that, that's one if you feel like you can hit your shots properly. Or like you don't need you don't need this able, then you could switch out for something like the uh, the stipple grip tape or something like that. And then we have the attack Tactical forklift A for the minus 5% of vertical recoil, minus 20% hit flinch. I uh, see so yeah. Let's 